uh, I met uh, Baba first time uh, in 1954 in uh, Wadia Park when there was a mass uh, darshan. I was uh, seven to eight year old. Uh, I only remember that there was a lot of means. Now only I came to know 50,000 uh, uh, where people were there and all. But that time I was, uh, we, we just know Baba is God, that's all. Because uh, brought up, born and brought up in a Baba family. My father was, uh, had a Baba's uh, first darshan in 52. And uh, he was uh, uh, living with the family. They were the devotee of uh, Tajuddin Baba. So when he got the job, he thought that is the, because of the um, Tajuddin Baba's mercy, he got the government job. And then he met there Nana Kher. Nana gave him uh, Baba's books when he read uh, Baba's books. And he was convinced that uh, Baba is God. And he was anxious to have Baba's darshan. So uh, Nana ji gave the uh, message to Baba. And Baba called him in 1952. Uh, 52, he had a Baba's first darshan. And once he had a darshan, then uh, that same moment he decided in his mind that whatever darshan and sahavas Baba will give, he will not leave any of the chance to meet the Baba. And uh, this, uh, his wish, uh, he fulfilled during his whole life. He, he went to 55 Sahawas and 58 Sahawas. And because of the language and we were not allowed. So my mother and father went in a separate uh, language group in 58. So 54 in Wadia Park, I had Baba's first darshan. Uh, that time, um, what I remember, we took some sweets we took some sweets uh, to give the Baba. When I gave that, it was a brass container. Uh, when I gave to Baba, Baba just took it and he wanted to, he, he was passing it on at the back to maybe Eraj. Then I said, no, Baba, you eat. Then Baba put the hand inside, little bit took one pinch of uh, sweet, let do. He ate it. And uh, then I told Baba, Baba, when you will come our house? Then Baba gave by gesture like, like that he did that uh, some other time. Some other time like that he gave the gesture. After that, um, I remember the incidents of uh, 1958. We were in Bombay. And Baba gave the darshan in uh, Sundarbai Hall. So this was a very unusual incident. Uh, my mother was standing in the balcony and um, Gulab Das Panchal and the president of uh, Bombay Center, Sigan Poria, they were walking in front of the road, our building, and they were talking about Nafde, how to give the message to Nafde like that about Baba's darshan. So my mother heard uh, Nafde. And then she called them. They came and they gave the detail about the program. And then uh, my mother and father, they were the volunteers. So they were busy on the day of a program. It was on 22nd December. Is it okay? Yeah. Please. Okay. So we, for me, I'm the eldest one and I have three brothers. So Baba was sitting on the dais. So arrangement was like this. By right side, we'll go by steps on the dais. We take the Baba's embrace, darshan, and then come down. So before going to Baba, I was having in my mind that I will ask Baba to sing the arti. 
but uh, as usual what happens it's uh, it, that is the incidence with the younger people even the older people when you go near the bawa you forget everything so same thing happened we four went we took baba darshan and then i we came down then suddenly i remember i didn't ask baba about the aarti then uh, again i went on the dais and i asked baba baba i want to sing aarti then there was a wall clock just in the opposite of the uh, wall the baba showed me the wall uh, clock and said uh, it's quarter to 12 and 12 was supposed to uh, program should be over so baba said now there is no time by the gesture and then he said some other time like that he said so that uh, darshan was over then uh, my father inquired with uh, baba lovers uh, and uh, sigan poriya ji and gulab das and all that and then they said baba is living in ashiana and he will be in bombay for a few more days so then my father decided that let us uh, try on 25th uh, it is baba's birthday also uh, christmas day so 25th december we'll take one chance try to get baba's darshan so we uh, arranged uh, garlands and coconut and uh, uh, we made the sweets out of coconut barfi and we made it uh, uh, in a box three layers in the down we make white then the orange layer and on the top white layer and on that white layer we wrote uh, baba give us love by the um, cardamom seeds <laughs> and we pack that and we uh, went there early morning by 7:30 8 o'clock we reached to ashiana as soon as we reach there then uh, uh the the one who was on the duty down and all he saw my father and then he asked uh, did baba call you then uh, my father said no baba did not call but uh, we just came if baba wish uh, we will take the baba's darshan otherwise we will keep all these things and from here only we will go home so they went up and told the baba that uh, baba nafde has come with the family for the darshan then uh, baba said okay call them so uh, there were steps maybe 10 or 12 steps we went uh, by the time we re- reach up and all that three times people came and asking baba wants you soon baba wants you soon we went up and uh, as soon we remove our shoes and all we went inside baba embraced all of us we Uh, put the garland gave the coconut and then that sweet we gave we opened the box and gave to baba baba saw it and baba said who made then we said we all made then baba said it is very good like that he gestured he said very good and then baba said to me sing the aarti <laughs> so so many people were there and then baba remembers and tells me to sing the aarti then we all sang the aarti which was written marathi aarti by cd deshmukh because those days we were reciting that only we were knowing that aarti only so we recited that aarti and then baba again called everybody and embraced and then then he said immediately snapped and said okay now you leave it so this was a extra darshan we had and then uh, we were very happy because baba asked us to sing the aarti after that uh, whenever east west gathering 65 63 we all were there okay jai baba jai baba jai baba akuna aunty do you remember the aarti can you sing it for us yeah yeah sure yeah please uh, this is the aarti by cd deshmukh written uh, i'll sing it meher baba shri guru raya tava charana vanduni pavana tava charana vanduni 
प्रीतीची फुलवात लावणी ओवाळू आरती अहम भाव करपूर जाणुनी अर्पी मन पुष्पा राजसारपी मन पुष्पा ओवाळू प्रीतीने माझा श्री सद्गुरु राणा प्रेम सागर ज्ञान दीप तव तेज शांत पसरवी अंतरी तेज शांत पसरवी रुसने ने उजळल्या पंच ही प्राणांच्या ज्योती प्रशांत सुंदर मूर्ती तुझी मज आनंदे डोलवी प्रियतम आनंदे डोलवी पुण्य दर्शने तुझ्या उसळती हर्षोर मी हृदयी स्वीकारी सा प्रेमे मजला तुझसी ही विनती सद्गुरु तुझसी ही विनती मम अज्ञान दूर करोनी सस्वरूपी गेई मेहेर बाबा श्री गुरु राया तव चरणा वंदुनी पावन तव चरणा वंदुनी प्रीतीची फुलवात लावणी ओवाळू आरती अवतार मेहर बाबा की जय Sir, my Baba Kijay, thank you, Kunda yeah. Aunty, for sharing this. So, we have Gadekar uncle who has joined. Yeah, yeah. Jai Baba Gadekar uncle. Jai Baba Gadekar uncle. Uh, stories from, uh, from your days of singing with the Bhajan Mandalay when you were young. Kid Kuna. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. So, Betty yeah. is saying that your stories of singing... with the bhajan mandali oh my story of which of singing with the bhajan mandali yes yes ha 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 so uh, it is many years now uh, the uh, bhajan mandali was being formed and madhusudan had come in baba's contact and when he had come in baba's contact he started composing and uh, once baba had called us in merabad uh, to sing before him the whole bhajan mandali so we all were very happy and excited and then we we went to mirabad and sang before baba and baba was very happy and we sang group songs and also individual songs up many group songs then the baba asked people to sing solo individual songs and in that group baba also asked me to sing a song and then i sang a song madhusudan one of madhusudan songs and baba was very happy and uh, he called me and he embraced me and he kissed me on the cheek if you uh so i do, that i recall that incident very vividly and uh, that is how baba used to shower his love on those who, who would be around him and uh, appreciate them so that is how baba was so i encourage you to ask questions yes it's a very interactive session so everybody can anyone can unmute and speak with gadi karankar i would like to hear again you have told before but i would love to hear again the story of your father how he met baba and then how you first met baba oh the story of my father is very long 
but I can make it short. We have time. And, uh, uh, he first met Baba when, when he was in school, going, maybe seventh or eighth standard, I don't know. And uh, maybe 19. 23, 24, and he was fortunate to have heard our voice because Baba started in silence 10th of July, 1925. And uh, that is how it was. Ha. <laughs> So, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. It's, it's yes, very much. Okay, okay. So, I request for any questions or queries. Yes. So, Gali Karankulji, this is Prakash, Jay Baba. Jai Baba. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I don't have any specific question, but generally uh, people keep talking about uh, in groups here, we always wonder how to keep Baba uh, with us um, uh, continuously. You know, I mean, <laughs> it, it does happen sometimes when you do prayers and, uh, you know, sing songs and things like that. But uh, during the day when you're doing things that um, yeah, as part of your daily routine, uh, one may uh, be a bit lost and then suddenly we realize, oh God, I wish I remembered. So with that in mind, do you have anything to share uh, to help us uh, or just, just, just narrating your own experience of uh, being with Baba all the time will help. Uh, see, Baba was very kind and loving, and uh, uh, I was fortunate to have been born with uh, in the family of one of the Mandali. My father Ramchandra Gadekar was very close to Baba, and he had come in his contact uh, way back in 1923 or 24 or so. So since childhood, uh, there was atmosphere of Baba in the family. And uh, as a matter of fact, one can say that we grew up in Baba's atmosphere. And uh, <clears throat> my father was so much devoted and attached to Baba. So before doing anything, he was remembered Baba. And he would remember Baba and start his work. Before going to office, he would go to remember Baba. Before entering office, he would remember Baba. After occupying his seat on the table in the office, as the head of the department, he would remember Baba. So that is how my father was. And naturally, when we grew up in, atmosphere, in this atmosphere, same case with my mother, she was also devoted with Baba. And she had come in Baba's contact very early. So, because both of the parents were Baba lovers, uh, we had the atmosphere of Baba in the family. And from the child, I was exposed to Baba's atmosphere. So, I hope this suffices your query. Any other question? Gadakar Kaka? Yes. Hi, it's Mahesh Chandnauri from Hyderabad. Yes, please. Uh, you you know that you know, the Gujabe Nara Jalatani was yes. written by Baba. As per yes. your compilation, it was mentioned on 11th January 1926. 
but subsequently uh -huh. we came to know even from the mehera and meher it was written even prior to the mohan thane sarthi when baba was in in baramsha building at bombay and he has given to meheramai that was given at page number 105 and 215 of mehera and meher this thing but that any time it was sang open in public meeting and what was the arti prior to composition of the cd deshmukh used to sing before the baba and when was the when did the stopped singing mehr baba sri guru raya then jaha kalpana was started can you just put some light on that because you are the one who compiled the arti compilation <laughs> it's all right now this is the, it is a story going many many years back and yeah. i and i may not be able to recall it very uh, clearly but uh, my question, my question is because baba liked it meher baba sri guru raya because i still remember in 1955 sava sab uh, you mentioned last time when gadekar was asked to sing that arti he was he just came crawling through the throne uh, that's a, uh, and baba said did you hurt yourself the throne hurt you this uh, baba said i never uh, gadekar said no 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 it didn't hurt me i was all the time concentrating arti and all that baba was so pleased and baba also asked you to sing the same arti for seven times at uh, ganesh chin you sang you sang that arti for seven times continuously then i don't know why suddenly it was stopped and then other arti do you have any idea about that no it is this is this rp was composed earlier yeah mere baba sudur raya tavachana vandani and this was composed by dr sridhar deshmukh yeah later on uh, madhusudan came in baba's fold and he composed baba's bhajans and he also composed baba darati so the as uh, madhusudan was the lead singer in the pune bhajan mandali and puna bhajan mandali would sing before baba quite often in either in merabad or merazad or in ahmednagar so that arti became prominent <coughs> and this earlier arti marathi arti was in the background but that does any of the that does not belittle its significance no no i'm not saying very, it is very touching and it is very loving wow well, one more thing know. is the mayor the bujave narajarati you have attended 1955 sawas 54 padia park and 58 sawas 62 and 63 any of the public meeting bujave narajarati ne was sang Yes, yes, it used to be sung in the public meetings also, uh, and you see uh, gatherings, Baba's gatherings. Yeah. And by gathering, I mean the sawas programs that were held in Mehrabad in the fifties yeah. or so, uh, for which I was present. Yeah. Thank you, Kaka. That's a very significant arati yeah. and very powerful. thank you kaka thank oh you. thank baba we have all to thank baba yeah so we have dina dina would have she wants to ask you something jay baba dr gadekar it is so nice to see you again i wanted to ask you about the time when you were living in berkeley and studying there were you involved in any music programs at that time was there music in going on in the baba community that you participated in when you lived in berkeley for your studies oh see uh, as a member of the pune bhajan mandali uh, we would be often asked by baba to sing before him so there were many programs of music before baba in which uh, we used to sing 
I used to sing uh, along with Madhusudan in the group. Madhusudan would also sing his solo songs. And if opportunity there, some of us would, would be asked to also sing solo songs. So I was very fortunate to be able to sing both in the group as well as as a solo as a singer in front of Baba. And that is his kindness. Did, did you also sing during your studies in Berkeley, California, in the United States? Oh, yes. Uh, see, it was Baba's grace that uh, I got a scholarship to study in the University of Berkeley in the, as a graduate student in the Department of Geology uh, in 59, 1960. That's many years from now. And even uh, during my stay in the US, Baba had specifically asked me before leaving India, he had given me, few, uh, he had, he had given me personal instructions before leaving India uh, for the US. And uh, these uh, personal instructions were that to be in Baba's touch and uh, uh, not to speak any lie, uh, not to drink, not to smoke, and not to touch any girl with just first intention. And then uh, the last order was to write to Baba every 15 days one letter. So during my stay in the US for over a year or so, I followed all these instructions of Baba. <clears throat> and I used to write to him every 15 days. But did you sing there? What she's asking is, did you sing when you were there in the US? Oh, yes. I used to go to the Berkeley Center and uh, they would request me to sing the songs. So I would sing Baba's bhajans at the Berkeley Center also. They have their weekly meeting, and when Mushida Deus would be there in Sutter Street, and in Sutter Street regular meetings, I would go and share Baba's love with all the dear ones there. But that was during 1900 and late 50s and early 60s. Yes. So this I wanted to share with you. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other question? Yeah, Deva Bhattarikarji, this is Prakash. Uh, I just want to thank you for your answer to my question. I couldn't respond because I was muted earlier. Um, I, I, I recall you narrating uh, a small incident that happened in your father's uh, life when he said to Baba that, Baba, I'm not feeling well. I feel very sick, so help me cure me so I can, you know, spread your love. And that's when Baba all, uh, ha will have his mandali say, Gadekar uh, Saab Ki Jai or something like that. Uh, so I, I'm sure you shared this story, but I thought maybe you can uh, help uh, remember that again in your own words. Oh, you want to listen that story again? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I, I wasn't there, I, so I may, I may be a little selfish here. I don't know if any, if anybody else wants to listen. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking if you can help. Father, uh, teaching could help. And uh, he used to go to his doctor for treatment. And uh, oh, this, uh, he had uh, this swollen gland uh, in the neck. In the neck, he had blank, swollen glands. So at that time, so he consulted the doctor, and the doctor diagnosed it as this uh, Hodgkin's disease. It's a cancer of lip glands. And at that now that disease is curable, but at that point of time, though before so many years back, <coughs> there was no cure for that. And the only treatment uh, the doctors would suggest was to some medication and. Uh, this x-ray treatment, x-ray. So he would be taken to the hospital regularly by my sister, elder sister, who was a student in the medical college at that time. And uh, the doctors there would treat him with uh, um, this 
radio uh, radiologic uh, uh, treatment <coughs> x-rays and this all these things so that also had to be given with caution because too much uh, heavy dose of x-rays will also be harmful to the health so that went on for some time but subsequently this uh, subsequently this disease uh, deteriorated and the health of my father was also deteriorated and then he, he went to baba and he asked him baba i am suffering so much why is suffering to me then baba replied that to you this is my blessing to you and while you are suffering you repeat my name so he started repeating baba's name uh, uh, and the uh, illness uh, became worse and uh, at that time the treatment of uh, cancer was also limited it was not as much developed as it is today these days hodgkin's disease is curable but uh, he could not be cured and uh, the with deteriorating health uh, he continued to remember baba and finally the end came <clears throat> so that is how my father was he also baba also had mandali uh say shiromani gade kar ki jai or something like that yes, yes. That uh, do you remember that do you remember yes, that yes that is true that is true because this happened prior to the dropping of body of my father I had asked my father to come and stay with him in Nirazad for one month. So he stayed with Baba uh, in Nirazad for one month, and during that one month period, uh, Baba would sit with him uh, alone in the room, and nobody knows what would transpire in that room. and then during one of those days uh, when uh, my father was in mirazad and uh, baba came out of the room along with him and the other mandali also joined later on and then my father was to go to pune and my mother had come in a taxi from pune to pick up my father and take him from from take him from nirazad to pune so the, both of them came and they were about to uh, enter the taxi in which my mother had come from <coughs> kaka actually he was passed on a shivaratri day i think so right kaka looks like here yeah, it's muted okay yeah. uh yeah yeah now it's got on mute kaka Hello? was uh, kaka kadekar sahab passed away on a shivaratri day i think so sourabh ji nahi no, shivaratri shivaratri Ganesh, you say that Shivaratri. Ah, yes, Mahashivaratri. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, um, Mahashivaratri day. He passed away. Uncle got muted. Uncle, you are muted. Uncle, we can't hear you. You are muted. Uh, you have to unmute. We can't hear you. No, no. He has to unmute. <coughs> yeah. So they got into the car and came to me. So that is how the story goes. Thanks, uh, Gadekar Uncle. Beautiful. I mean, thanks for sharing that again. I'm sorry to ask you to repeat the same thing again, but uh, it was nice. Thank uh, you. Of this, you must have heard of. Yeah. Yes, yes. But it's always so fresh and nice to hear directly from you. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. I am getting another call. Sure, sure. Take care, Uncle, and thank you so much for joining. Uh, uh, I want to just share one thing, Ganesh. Why Prakash asked this question is, hmm. Gadekar passed away, Gadekar, Chandra Ramchandra Gadekar passed on his Shuratri, and Prakash's grandmother also passed on his Shuratri. So oh, that day sure. we just thought about Mahashivaratri. Hmm. That's so true. we just said the story of Ramchandra Gadekar's story, mm -hmm. and both are, and because Prakash grandmother also very fond of two, she mm -hmm. asked when was the Shivaratri and all that, mm -hmm. and Gadekar also same. A lot of resemblance between Ramchandra uh, Gadekar uncle's story and uh, uh, Prakash grandmother Prabhakar uh, Magar's story is also similar. So that's oh. the reason I just recollected. That has prompted Prakash to ask that question, probably. <laughs> no, not really, but uh, I was about to, uh, you know, share that thing also regarding my grandmother that she passed away on sure. one of the holiest days uh, in Hindu mythology. So, yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. Thanks, and thanks, thank Marcia. you, Uncle, for joining. It's, it's, yeah, you're, thank you. We really appreciate thank you. your presence here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jai Thank Baba. you so much. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Take care of your good day. Take care, Take of, care health. of your health, Kaka. Take care. Oh, you too. You too. You too. Yeah, of course. Take care, Kaka. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Thank you. Kaur Meher Baba ki jai. We can unmute and everybody can. We can say three times of Kaur Meher Baba ki jai. Avatar Mehen Baba Ki Jai Avatar Mehen Baba Ki Jai Avatar Mehen Baba Ki Jai Thanks Ganesh, thanks Galekar Uncle Thanks to Galekar Uncle Jai Baba Jai Baba Merchant. Jai Mer Baba. Can I say something? Yeah, you definitely can tell. Prakash. See, uh, uh, you said about this uh, Meher Baba Sri Guru Raya. So, uh, what I remember that Sri means uh, Lakshmi, no? He is also addressing uh, the, the Sadguru. Yeah, but earlier Baba used to, we call Baba Shri Guru, but later on Avatar. So that is why uh, uh, we stopped uh, singing this Arti. Because we ne uh, after, later on we never said Shri Guru. We used Shri to say Avatar Meher Baba. Shri Sadguru is an uh, uh, honorable title. Sri yeah, but it was earlier. But later on, we started saying Avatar Meher Baba. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. So earlier, we used to say Shri Guru. That is why Thank that Arti was there. That Sadguru, is Sri Guru Raya. This is just... What I remember from my father. So see, I'm just sitting to have my dinner just now. That Rima had come. 